the sounds you're breathing in. Hold tight, hold tight. Can't make hoes collide. Hold tight, hold tight. Ooh, dripping dyes paint the skies. What if dripping dyes really could paint the skies? Oh, what's going on, Malakis? VNNCZ3 here, and I'm so glad that you stopped by. That's right, Malakis. No one but you to come spend some of your quality time to come hang out with me today. And in this video, I want to share with you guys my new mobile gaming passion. But first, a word from our sponsors. Tired of always having to get up to go to the bathroom when you're playing your games? Tired of always having to flush the toilet afterwards and wash your hands? Introducing Gamer Pads. They come in a sleek blue design for his. And of course, they've got the pink for the ladies. Simply open your pad up, insert into your gamer shorts, and smooth sailing all day long. Of course, I'm just joking, y'all. Y'all already know this. I love doing little skits like that. But, uh, yeah, I wanted to introduce you guys to the new game that I'm playing called Raid Shadows of Legends. And no, I'm not spawn- Wait, hold on a second. Yeah. Uh-huh. Yeah, I told them I wasn't sponsored. So what of it? So you're gonna put those gems in my- I mean, I'll, I'll talk to you later, okay? Bye. All right, well, this game here- I'm going to go ahead and give you guys my honest opinion. I'll give you some pros, some cons, and what I generally think about the game and why you should actually play it. And before we get into the pros and the cons of the game and what I think about it, I know a lot of y'all are going to want to, you know, know, or a lot of y'all are going to already have your opinion formed that this game is a completely pay to win game. Now, I will admit that there is a smidge bit difference between pay to win and free to play. But don't forget, there's also the budget player, or as some people call them, or as some might call it, the pay to play players. The only real difference between somebody who puts a bunch of money in the game and somebody who doesn't is that they basically get there faster, if that makes any sense. Now, you're gonna say, but, but VNN, but, but VNN, there's so many champions and I can't get all the legendaries like, Bad Alcazar like you've got, and I can't get a martyr, or I can't- Look, buddy, okay, look. There are plenty of trash, garbo, fabulous legendaries in this game, as well as epics, so I wouldn't really make my main focus on acquiring those types of champions. The real difference that you're gonna notice here between a free-to-play player and a pay-to-play player is really just the energy consumption and the quality of the artifacts that player has. Energy is consumed in order to move forward in the game, that's make progression basically, and I consider this more of like a, a turn-based RPG. You know, there is an RPG aspect to this game. There's a bit of a storyline, it's kinda, it needs a little bit of work, but that's nor here nor there. Artifacts are things that your champions wear to make them stronger. Just because you've got these gold artifacts and all that stuff doesn't mean that you're going to be the best player in the entire game because there is something called an RNG factor, right? If you've ever played Path of Exile or Diablo or any of those games like that, you're going to realize really fast and in a hurry that these gear pieces, these artifact pieces that drop in dungeons like, like this one that I'm in right now, they have random stats on them, except for their primary stat. It's a predetermined stat depending on the type of gear you get, but their substats and blah, 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 blah. I'll get into that in a much later video. Aside from energy consumption and possibly getting better artifacts because you can progress further and faster into the game because you pay money, uh, realistically, your drop rates don't really make your account that much better. Yes, there are some pretty good champions like Bad Elkazar, right? But then again, that's not... I feel that game developers have made it fairly good for free-to-play players to be able to progress at a decent pace. And yes, you're always going to have those people complaining, but the forums are not completely littered with a bunch of free-to-play players saying, This game isn't fair! It's pay to win! There's not just, there's just not a whole bunch of that stuff going on. This is a really fair game in my opinion. But do you have to pay to actually enjoy the game, VNN? Much like Lord's Mobile, yes. 
Will Scotty? I would say definitely not, actually, 100%. The game's very enjoyable, even being a free-to-play player. I haven't really noticed this game to be super competitive, and I've been playing it for a little over a month now. Uh, realistically, the only competition you really have is actually just you, and how fast you want to progress through all of the content. In my opinion, don't. Don't don't be in a hurry to progress all the way through because you're going to find out really fast in a hurry that it, it is definitely a grindy game. I personally like games like this because it makes it so it's an even playing field. You can't just buy your your gold champion gear. You can't just buy your, your mythic gear. You know what I mean? It's basically you get what you put into it, if that makes any sense. In case you're wondering if I'm going to be doing like tips and tricks guides or just basically showing other things that other youtubers are not showing <laughs> who do you think i is of course i'm going to be doing that kind of stuff for you scoops of course i'm going to hook you up i understand that i don't have all the champions and i'm not farming dungeon level 18 19 or 20 but i also haven't dumped like thousands of dollars into the game and i haven't been playing it since launch so yeah and that pretty much concludes the video and if you're still here with me I'm not going to even bother asking you to subscribe or like or do any of that stuff. That's all your own free will. But what I will ask you to do is to give me a chance and maybe come back to a different video I'll make. You know, and so you guys can see what kind of actual content I'm going to be making. Because I've been working on my editing skills and hopefully I can put some pretty good content out there for y'all. But y'all know what I'm talking about though, right? Love peace and chicken grease. Be safe. But above all, stay classy.